is Alfred, Black Dice Gaming. So today, I'm going to be talking about Unearthed Arcana. So what is that, guys? Think about it. Uh, for DMs and for players, it is what is, it is the non-printed content that is given out um, by um, a gaming company to um, literally give them extra ideas. And um, recently, um, Wizards actually came out with a uh, new uh, new Unearthed Arcana, and it's for um, two new subclasses. So today we're going to talk about the first of the two. We're going to talk about the College of Spirits. That's right, Bards. You guys are going to get the chance to deal with spirits. So, just to let you know and to let the people know who have never played this game before, um, subclasses are basically those little small things that make a class its own. A ranger does many different things having to do with nature and stuff like that, but if you take um, a few little differences, make them a little bit moody, throw in a little bit of dark vision, boom, you got a gloomstalker ranger. So now we're going to look into this aspect, a bard. Bard sings songs, tries to get people to be happier, or move, or some kind of emotion. And that emotion is what proves his, is what pulls out his magic. But what if I could tell you that as a bard, you don't even have to use an instrument. You can use a story. And not only can you use a story, but you can use a story guided by the spirits that are channeled through your body. This is the College of Spirits. So at third, at third um, level, you get the chance to gain a new a subclass in Bard. This is when you pick up your college spirits. And in there, you gain stuff. Um, there's a third level, you gain, the, you gain the guidance cantrip. Basically what this means is the spirits are guiding you and allowing you to provide guidance for other people. Um, you gain a new spell casting focus. That's right, instead of a guitar, a flute, a pan flute, a mm, whatever have you, a harmonica, you're now using a candle. A talking board, a skull, a taroka deck. You're now a little bit deeper, a little bit darker, and a lot more fun. So what else do I get other than a cruddy little spell and a new little spell focus? Well the great thing is, is as a bonus action, you can create bardic inspiration by making up a story. And what that does is it holds that bardic inspiration for when you want to choose a creature within 30 feet to gain the effect of your bardic inspiration. That's the first piece that you gain from it. Now, that's pretty good in and of itself, but it grows. At 6th level, now you can use a d6 bonus to your spells that you cast. Uh, you have a one hour long ritual that you actually can use to channel spirits. And what this does is it gives you the chance to gain one spell of any class for the whole day. That's right, now you have a bard that can cure wounds. Now you have a bard that can cast fireball. Things get a little interesting when the guy with the flute is killing dragons in one shot. It's kind of awesome. Plus, you can give um, Bardic Inspiration and um, increases in levels to um, people equal to your proficiency bonus, including yourself. So let's say your proficiency is a plus six. You can now bring in five other people. Things can be quite interesting when you're passing out spells like candy. So at 14th level, you can use a d6 instead of a bardic inspiration die. And now, you're not even losing that bardic inspiration. Because now, you're halfway into spirit world and halfway in the world that you're in. Now, the little tales and the little stories that you tell are stronger because you're part of that world and part of this. So, 
I really find that to be interesting. Um, I played a few bards in the past. Um, I can tell you right now, I actually am willing to try this one out. I've usually tried out most of the UA content that I see, but this one has just come out a little while ago, so I am looking forward to trying it out, play testing it. Um, DMs, if you actually do try it out and play test it, just like the company itself tells you to do, go back to the website and take the survey. Because the thing is, is it doesn't become actual content until we as gamers tell them if we like it or not. So please, try it out. Give it a shot. And as always, happy trails. Thank you.